Hi again, everyone. Today, I am an eclectic crafter. I don't know if you all have noticed that already, but it's just like I, I just go from one thing to the other, to the other, to the other. I just go back and forth, round and round. And I wasn't going to show this because I wasn't going to show this because I don't know how it's going to turn out. Because I've never made an art doll before. But um, this actually started out, it was going to be a snowman. But then it didn't look like a snowman. So um, it's not a snowman. And even for a doll, her like her head is a little bit long and narrow. But once I get her hair on and stuff, I think she'll just be just fine. And um, But like right now, I'm working on these. I sew a few patches together and I quilt them. And then, and then I'm working on these here little journals for the challenge. It's like I got... A jillion things always going at one time but I work on a little bit and then I I work a little bit and then I switch just like in the blink of an eye I just switch and so but I saw Secret Soto she made a um Secret Soto made a an art doll that turned out to be so cute and she made it using a bottle, sort of like a, I don't know what it was, but, it, you know, like a syrup bottle. Like, it's almost shaped like a doll. That's what she used. Well, I didn't start with a bottle. And I don't know if I should even tell you what I started with. Another another girl that does um, art dolls, let me show you this one I have right here. This one here, this was made by... Rose City Crafter, her name is Veronica. She made this one and she sent this one to me. And it's just, I love it. I just think it's gorgeous. It's like, um, it's like a little house with a little chimney, but it's a doll. It's an art doll. And she's made different kind of art dolls. She uses a lot of um, paper mache. Well, mine is sort of like paper mache, but it's not exactly paper mache. But I have been inspired by those two ladies. And um, I've been very inspired by them. So mine, mine is different. And so far I've got it covered with um, masking tape just to get its shape. And um, I don't know if I even want to tell you what she's stuffed with, what her main body is. But I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you this. I hope you're sitting down. I hope you're sitting down because um, what this is, is stuffed with, what this, what her body is, hopefully it's just ladies listening, watching. What she's stuffed with is, <laughs> I can't even say it. I'm having trouble saying it. This little girl is stuffed. <laughs> I can't say it. Okay. How do I say this? This is sanitary napkins. I took two. First, when I was going to make a snowman, I was looking for something to... um to stuff my snowman with and well I come up with this it was in the closet and it was a bag that had been there for like forever and you know I'm old I don't need them anymore and um I said oh these will work so I took two and I took the sticky, the paper off the back, and so they stuck together like this, you know, so they stuck right together. And um, and then I took rubber bands, and I went around the neck to make the neck, and then I took another rubber band that went, like, around the waist. Like I said, first it was going to be a snowman. And then I had this stick that ran through it. It was a chopstick. 
and it went between the two that was going to be the snowman's arms but then I thought well it's not really shaping up like a snowman it looks more like it might be a, a person so I took two more of those sanitary napkins I cut them in half and then I went and put two what one half down this side, one half down this side, one half down the front, one half down the back. And then it made like the skirt shape for my doll. And she's still kind of soft and stuff. I don't know if she'll stay soft. Well, I'm not too sure about her upper torso here because it was like really flat. And I thought, well, it needs a little shape. So I just like rolled up a piece of paper and stuck that there and then covered it up with some more um, masking tape. I don't know if I'm going to even post this video. <laughs> oh, but now I'm going to, wait a minute. I got to take off my fancy jewels that I got over at the jewelry store. Very expensive jewelry store. Just a minute. I got to get these off. Because I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using my um, watered down school. I got three of them. I got to get them off over my Paul Bunyan hands. Okay, there. Now, what I'm going to do with her now? Now, now that you understand what she's made from, I've got. Oops, I got to pour it in the dish. I've got my my um just my regular Elmer's school glue, and I've pour that in my little monkey bowl and what I'm going to do with this now is I'm just going to start covering, covering, covering her up with this I'm using paper towels I use Viva paper towels because I only use the best when it comes to crafting from, from you know crafting now for the kitchen no I don't use Viva there those the the kitchen gets generic name brand I mean home brand you know home brand in the kitchen is all cool but for my crafting they get I get Viva for my crafting but if you've got a coupon you know hey it's not so bad now see my um and um, this, 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 you know, now this will take a couple good days to dry. That um, Maybe I have my glue too watery. It's really dripping. But it's okay. It's all right. And I'm just going to kind of wrap her, just wrapping her up like a mummy, you know. Just if you've ever wrapped a mummy, you would know. I've never wrapped a mummy. But she's going to be bohemian. When she's finished. So I'm hoping to. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't know what I'm doing. Because I looked up. Um, I, I tried to. To you know. Search to see if anybody's ever made anything. Using these items that I aforementioned. But I didn't see anything. So. I don't know if anybody has ever, you know, used this, this kind of thing to form a body. I don't know. If there is, they're pretty smart. Almost as smart as me. But anyhow, she's going to be bohemian and I'm, I want to make her, I want to make her beautiful. She's going to have a dress. See, I got her, I had this round piece of cardboard. And so I glued her. I just put a bunch of glue on that piece of cardboard. And, and then I just glued her right down onto the cardboard. So she can stand up there nice and pretty. Because she is pretty already. If you look at her, she's already pretty. Even before. I'll, I Once this is dry... Once this is like dry, then I'm going to pay, paint it. I'm going to give her some paint first. She, I shouldn't call her it. I don't want to, I don't want to insult her like that. But once, once she's dry, 
I'm going to give her some skin color. Not sure exactly which color I'm going to choose yet. Not sure exactly. But um, it's going to be beautiful. And um, today I ordered off of an Etsy store. Etsy, Etsy, whatever. I've never shopped off of Etsy before. But I figured since I'm thinking I'm going to start an Etsy store. I say that all the time so far. I haven't done it. I think I should at least buy stuff from Etsy stores. Because it would not be fair if I sold things on Etsy store and I didn't buy anything from Etsy store. I'm putting some, I'm putting some, um, dry, I'm putting some of this on dry right now over the part that's really wet because the part that's really, you know what, maybe I don't need this paper under here because it might glue to the paper. Put that over there. I'll just put it here and it it won't glue to the thingy, I don't think. The thingy, the pad, the mat. <laughs> oh God, Elizabeth Murray. And so I was talking to my friend and told her I was doing this. And um she says, Well, you need to make a video. I said, I don't know if I should. I don't know if I should, if that would be right or not right or weird. People might, here I go, pour all my glue in there. I don't know if people would think I'm sort of kind of like weird. And I definitely do not want to, I don't want to come across as weird. That's what it is. And so, although I know I am weird, but see, this now see you could instead of using um paper towels you could use um newspaper book pages any kind of paper to do it this way you don't have to use paper towels i'm using paper towels only because it just seems to form around not that i've made a lot of stuff out of this all i've made is one round ball which I think you all saw that, my round ball. That's all I've made, just one round ball. And then I decorated the ball. It didn't turn out to be very fancy, but my girl here, is, she's going to be fancy. But I ordered off of the Etsy store today. Um, well, I, I got, do you see how I say one half a sentence and then go to another? Yeah, that's how I work. I got this gift today from Odette over in Africa. She sent me, it's a journal cover. It's a journal cover that is, I am like so impressed and amazed with it. And it's got such fancy, beautiful fabrics. And so I thought to myself, self, I think that's sorry. What I, you know, I keep hearing people talking about sari ribbon and sari fabric and stuff. And so I went to the Etsy. I went over there to the Etsy and I looked to see if I could find sari fabrics or sari ribbon. Oh, I just wanted to be sorry. I wanted sari stuff. And so I did. I found a seller and, and, and she was selling scraps. And so I went to that seller and I purchased me some scraps right away. I didn't give it any thought because I wanted some of that fabric. And what Lizzie wants, Lizzie gets. Unless, unless it costs more than $12, then I don't get it. But you know, um, she's coming out pretty nice, but. Her cardboard is getting pretty funny down there, but that's okay. It's it's okay. Um, so I ordered some. So and it said she said it's already shipped. So it shipped like right away. So hopefully it doesn't take real long to get here because I have the patience of well I don't have any patience. Um, 
I was a patient once when I was in the hospital, but that's got nothing to do with patients. Yeah, I don't have any patients. Actually, I do have a lot of patients. I do wait. I'll wait. Because, because I make so many other things, see? Now, if I only made one thing, if I was only a crafter that just did one thing, like all I do is one thing, I would call myself very boring. I would, it would be too boring. I have to go from one thing to the other. I, I have many things going at one time. Many things going at one time. Now, so look how pretty. I can hardly wait till she's ready to start getting dressed. Because when she starts getting dressed, she's going to be beautiful. I'm going to have to make her a name, too. She's going to need to have a name. See, I put, see that? It was getting real wet, so I just put some dry paper towel on there. Socks, sops up some of that wet. But I do want it kind of to be thick. Like, not real thick, you know, but more than just one layer of paper towel. I want it to be more than one layer so that when it, when she dries... She will, um, she will be heavy boned like her mother, me. I'm her mother. And so, but I want her to be sturdy enough that she doesn't like fall apart. I'm thinking that she might take like three days to dry. I, I'm thinking, I'm not sure. But um, but she might take like a while. Now I gotta mix me up some more glue. I've used all that now. I bandage her head. I feel like I'm bandaging her. I'm gonna fix you up, my little girl. I'm gonna make you beautiful, and and you are going to be the prettiest lady in the whole block. On the whole entire block. Oh, hang on a second here, ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls, cats and dogs. Okay. I gotta mix me up some more. I gotta put, I put like, I don't know why I just didn't just pour water in that bottle. Why didn't I just pour water? Extra strong formula. This is school. I guess they're different. Okay. And then I pour some water in there. Like this. I got like half glue and half water. And then I have to shake it up. And then I pour it into my monkey dish. These are called monkey dishes, you know. Okay, let me put that over there. Then, she needs a little bit more on her head. Actually, she needs a lot more on her head. Bandage her head up so that her hair will stay on. I don't know what kind of hair I'm going to give her. If she's going to have purple hair, I don't know. What kind of hair do you want, little girl? Hmm? What color hair? You tell mommy what color hair you want. You tell your mommy what color hair you want. You can have anything you want because you're going to be spoiled. You're going to be spoiled. Let me see. Let's see. We're getting some wrapped up. I guess this is kind of hard to see with um, with it being my camera up there. But she's about, she's pretty tall. She's, a well, just, she's as tall as one of those things she's wrapped in. I mean, built with. I don't want to repeat that again. To admit that I used what I used. But hey, you know, if you're using, I mean, this is not like recycling because it's not even up. I, it's not like reuse. Okay, let's not talk about that. It was brand new stuff that I used to stuff her with. Brand new, brand new, brand new.
Okay, now. Now, I think. You see how her arms are here? First, I had these things just stuck out because it was a popsicle stick. I mean, not a popsicle stick, but a chopstick. And so I just had them like stuck out. But then when I decided she wasn't going to be a snowman, that she was going to be a bohemian beauty, bohemian queen, I broke the sticks and bent them down like that. You know, and then tape, because it was all wrapped up in tape, in masking tape, then they just stayed right there. But see how they are like this? how they are kind of sticking out like this. I thought I'm going to go from one side to the other with like a chain, like, like a chain sort of, and, um, or not a chain. It probably won't be a chain because that wouldn't be bohemian, but I'll probably like put a piece of, 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 oh, you know what? I just got from Katie. Katie sent me a package that had some silk ribbon, wound up like like little rope oh my gosh that stuff's gorgeous i bet that's what i'm going to use from here to here a piece of that that's hanging and hanging from this little rope is going to be like charms and like maybe a sun and a moon and a star just little things hanging from this rope that goes from this hand to this hand won't that be pretty that's what I have in my mind right now, anyway. And um, her neck is kind of thick. I wonder if I make her head a little bigger, then her neck won't look so thick. But then maybe her neck won't look so bad if um, it won't look so thick if I, if she has on like a scarf. She might like a shawl. Oh, yeah. I think she needs... Do you think she... I think she'll need a shawl. She's going to be beautiful. She's going to have earrings, too. She's going to have earrings. Oh, my gosh. I have got hopes and dreams for my girl. And I got to think of a good name now. A good name for her. Because she's going to have to be named. And if she turns out really nice, I might make her a friend. Which I know she's going to turn out nice. I have got faith. She's going to turn out nice. I, I don't want her to think that she's not. She's going to be special. She is going to be special. See, now I'm wrapping her more with just dry paper towels. The dry paper now is soaking up a lot of that wet because I got a lot of wet on there and it's soaking up a lot of that wet oh she is going to be adorable she is going to be just beautiful she I mean to tell you I think everybody and their mother should make a bohemian doll so we can have a bohemian doll family across the world oops now see her bottom is really really wet i hope she doesn't like i don't think she'll flop over in the night though i don't think she will you know what i think i want to do though is i think i want to like twist some of this and go around the bottom yeah. Wait a minute. I need some more paper towels. More Viva. More Viva for my Diva. More Viva for my Diva. More Viva, Viva for my Diva. I'm going to the Goodwill in the morning. I'm going to meet my friend over there. Got my friend Cheryl. I'm going to meet her over there. I think it will be cool. So we can shop over to the Goodwill. You never know what you might find. You never know what you're going to find over to the good wheel. Now, see, I'm just twisted that up some because I want that to be as, I don't want to see the cardboard there. See, and I'm seeing the cardboard, but I don't want to see the cardboard. I want that to kind of 
hide. So I'm just kind of twisting this here and put, I mean, talk about mixed media. This is mixed up, I'm telling you. Mix this stuff up. Oh, she's, I can tell she's going to be beautiful. She is going to be beautiful. I wonder what I did with my, let's see. I need something. I'm afraid, I'm, I'm just afraid of here. I'm afraid. I don't know what I'm afraid of, but now I'm making more of a mess, probably putting the silicone mat down here. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I just put that under there. So then that's good. That's good. Boy, now you're using your noodle, Elizabeth Marie. Now I... Oh, now we're getting our shape. See, when you don't really know what you're doing, when you don't really know what you're doing, you just got to keep doing it until you do know what you're doing okay so I just set her on that piece of paper towel see there I set her on that and um, then and then I just wrapped it up her wrapped it up her but it doesn't have enough up on this side so I'm going to wrap this. Oh. Boy. I'll definitely, when I do the next step after this dries for a couple days, then I am going to show you what's happening. It may turn out to be a fail. I do not know. But if it, if it does turn out to be a fail, We'll learn it together. We'll learn about the fail together. And um, so, so you'll learn that I ain't perfect. Okay. The old gray mare, she ain't what she used to be. The old gray mare, she ain't what she used to be. Now, let's see. Okay, I think I'm cooking on gas now. I think, all right, now, now it's shaped like a skirt. Now it is shaped like a skirt, in my own humble opinion. Okay, I, although I got that wood hanging out of her arms from the chopstick, I really need to do something to make her, like, cover them woods up anyway. I won't have fingers, but she will have hands. And so, but maybe when I paint her, I will paint, like, Oh, because her hands will be curled up around the rope. Yeah. Yeah, because the, the, the hands will be curled up around the rope. And, oh, this is going to be great. I got some fringe. I got some fringe that I got that from Katie. Katie sent me fringe, and it's black fringe. So black fringe? Yeah. That's, oh, okay. She's got one arm shorter than the other. Wait a minute. I got to put some, we have to have both arms at least the same length. Oh, that was the glue. This, this is a water down glue. Okay, now, I got to make that arm as long as the other arm, because we do have to be, I'm a perfectionist. <laughs> yeah, right. 
not me. I'm not any who would wear near a perfectionist, nor am I OCD or any of that kind of stuff. But um, this is, now see, I will work on other crafts while she's drawing. She's beautiful. Okay. Let me see. That's it. I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah. That is it. I am sure that's it. Oh, I can see into the future. I can see that she's going to be beautiful. Okay. I'm, this is a little dry, but I think there's so much moisture in it that it's going to drip down and get this dry. I don't think I have to add any more glue because there, this bottle... There is like two of them bottles full of glue on her. I'm going to put this one on here. Tomorrow when we go to the Goodwill, right next door to the Goodwill is the, is the Lowe's, Lowe's, you know, hardware store. Well, I understand you can buy glue. You can buy PVA glue, like Elmer's glue, in a gallon jug. A gallon. One whole gallon. And I, I need a gallon. So I told the hubster that I need to have a gallon. And he said, okay, I'll get it for you while you're in the Goodwill. And I said, thank you, darling. He's pretty handy to have around. He's going to get me a gallon of Elmer's glue. And um, I'll use it because I've learned from Stacy Evans on the Pink Poodle Craft Playground. I've learned how to make so many of my own stuff. So many of my own stuff. Somebody needs to teach me to talk. Um, my hands are gluey. Hang on a second. Uh, uh, I gotta get one of these wipe things. Um, like I make my own. Now I've learned to make my own um, gesso and my own. Mod Podge and my own, my own, my own everything. Just, um, oh, let's take that ring off. That's in a mess. Can't get them other ones off. They glued on there. They won't ever come off. I grew, they grew right into me. But, um, what was I saying? Was I saying anything important? Um, no. Probably not. I never say much important. I was looking for something else now, but now I just had my little bitty towel. Oh, there it is. This is better. I'll pour water on this towel. There we go. Now, that's better. Okay. Yes. Oh, I've... I on um, Pink Poodle Craft Playground, Pink Poodle Crafter Lady. She, Stacy, that's the one. She has taught. I can now make my own gesso. I can make my own modeling paste. Um, I can make all that, and that stuff is expensive. But if you go on her, on her site, oh Lord, you will be in heaven because she makes. She has uh, links. She has videos that shows. All of that awesome stuff. Awesome stuff that you can make on your own. And that stuff's expensive to buy in store. I already said that. Okay, so now. Now, now I'm going to let her. She's going to dry. Boy, I'm going to clean that up. Um, she's going to dry now. And like I say, it'll be a couple of days. And so then the next step will be painting her giving her some color so she's not all this all stark white paper towel color paper towel look but what do you think about her shape i think her shape looks pretty good she looks like a mummy but hey that's not gonna last because she's gonna be a bohemian bohemian beauty that's what she's gonna be a bohemian beauty so i'll paint her but she's going to have 
She's not just going to be painted. She's actually going to have clothes on. Like here on this one that Victoria made. This one's all painted. She's got a little bit of lace around her little legs here. And um, but and then she's got gems on here. And everything is just beautiful on here. She's got all kind of different different papers and elements. And she's gorgeous. And then of her face is like um like clay polymer clay maybe maybe it's plaster i don't know it's beautiful these little hearts here are made out of melted um plastic off of water bottles or soda bottles and um yeah but i love her she's beautiful but now now this beautiful lady she's going to be a little different because she's going to have like real clothes and I'm hoping that this fabric that I get that I just ordered off of Etsy I'm hoping see I haven't got it yet so I don't know if I'm even going to like it but I know because I do like everything but she's going to have ribbons she's going to have sequins she's going to have bling she's going to have hair She's going to probably have a beautiful shawl. She's going to have that string of gems that she's holding. All I can tell you is she's going to be beautiful. Okay, well, I'm going to let you go now because I'm just dreaming. Now I'm just dreaming. So if you got any ideas of what she should have, you let me know because I'll take any ideas for free. Any free advice I take. I take it all. Okay, now. I want to, oh, wait a minute. I have to get here in my, um, in my wisdom cards. I also got this here little book, Power Thoughts, 365 Daily Affirmations. I always turn it like this, like, like you're going to see it through the computer. But, um, this is cool too. So that's why Louise Hay. I like that. But here we're working on business, wisdom cards. I seen the word business and it just popped in my head. Now, now, um, love these wisdom cards. Okay, here we go. My business is prosperous. I rejoice in other people's successes because I know there is plenty for everyone. And when we talk about my business, you know, my business, my business right now is my crafting. That's my business. Um, it doesn't mean that it has to be a business where you get a paycheck. It's a business. Your business is where you, your paycheck is in your heart. And I, and like, I'm so excited about my doll that I'm so excited about her that she's my business, but I rejoice in other people's successes. So other people's crafts, and I love watching what other people do. It says, because I know there is plenty for everyone. So isn't that perfect for us in the crafting world? Now, I am motivated by love. Resentment, criticism, guilt, and fear come from blame, blaming others and not taking responsible, responsibility for my own experiences. Okay, let me read that one again because that one just went over my head. I am motivated by love. Resentment, criticism, guilt, and fear come from blaming others and not taking responsibility for my own experiences. Okay, yeah, that's now now it's sinking in a little bit more. Sometimes when I read something, it doesn't sink in right away. And I have to and I have to read it a few times and think about it and then read it again. And then it 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 sticks. Okay, I am pure spirit. I am aware that I am pure consciousness. I am not lonely or lost or abandoned. I am one with all of life.
I am pure spirit. I am aware that I am pure consciousness. I am not lonely or lost or abandoned. I am one with all of life. I want to say I love you. And I want to say thank you for coming to see my video today. Sorry if it was too silly. Ah, no, I'm not sorry. Yeah, I am just me. But um, just want to say I love you and may God watch over you every step you take, every move you make. And I will see you on the next video. God bless.